tree of justice where all the branches of justice have been cut off. Mr. Gower, yes. what accomplished today at the Dr. Murray hearing? Tell me. Well, honestly, I would say nothing really. Dragging it out, dragging it out, and dragging it out because certain people don't want to be exposed. And I think that uh, they, they, again, postponed it. Comrade Murray came in through the back like a coward, like usually. <clears throat> Mr. and Mrs. And I emphasize Mr. and Mrs. Jackson came in, they're not breaking up, you know, like some people are saying, they came in together. And then I believe I saw Randy come in after that and it was also Reby. They came and they came and showed their support. They left again, disgusted, tired. And it was just, it was hard to see them still having to go in and come back out again and go in and come back out. So was it basically a waste of Mr. and Mrs. Jackson's time? It's a very big waste. Was of it time. just stressing them out? Just stressing them out. It's just, it's an insult to injury, you know, that in molested. He was the one being molested by the media. And he, he went through so much of them talking against him and talking against his name. And now this man who murders him, paid off by Tommy Matola and Sony, which I believe, is now walking around free, still with a practicing license, still going on vacation like nothing happened, you know. There were people that were there for the wrong reasons. You know what? We have the victory in Jesus' name. I believe in prayer. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. And I just pray, and I don't worry about what's going on. Greatest entertainers in history, one of the people who gave more uh, than any other celebrity in history was in a Guinness Book of Records. I, know, I understand the significance of this being a blessing from God being taken from us. Geraldine Hughes, you went in with the family, Geraldine? Yes, we did. Yes, I did. <laughs> um, they, uh, I have a special interest to make sure that what's going on inside the courtroom is being uh, properly articulated on the outside. So the only thing that I got from today's court hearing is delay, delay, and more delay. Uh, it's taking, there's, they set the preliminary hearing to start in January. Well, our first court date was in February, so it's taking us a year just to get to the preliminary hearing. So I have an issue about how they're dragging this case along. Did Catherine and Joe take this bad today? Not just really. Just dragging um, it out? Or? Um, they, they was, uh, you know, there's a false rumor out there about them getting a divorce, so it was, I think that they really just wanted to make a public statement that they are very much still together and because they both came in together into the courtroom and they left together. What was a some essence of today? What, of anything, was accomplished today? Um, delay, delay, and more delay. I didn't see anything being accomplished. Was I just saw a lot of jargon going on, courtroom jargon, uh, motion. They're going to have a, another hearing on the 26th of October, a status conference date. But to me, it's just rubbish. It's, you know. Did they set a trial date? Did they actually set a date that the trial? No. Did they set a date when discovery must be completed? No. So it does look like they're just stretching They're just this. stretching it. In the meantime, Conrad Murray is taking vacations, treaty patients. Yes, yes. In the yeah. meantime, he's just, you know, having, I, I really believe they're delaying the case just so that they're hoping that uh, we'll lose interest. Mr. Eddie Jones, what did you observe today? Well, first of all, hi everybody. I'm Eddie Jones, president of the Los Angeles Civil Rights Association. And uh, this was a good court day today. Even though they didn't say everything that we needed to hear, still a lot of things were said. Documents from the prosecution that have to be given to the defense, and documents from the defense that need to be given to the prosecution. That was the topic today. Mr. Joe Jackson was there, Ms. Catherine Jackson was there, Reby Jackson was there supporting her mom, and Randy uh, Jackson was there today, and uh, Trent Jackson, the nephew uh, to the family was there. And of course, we were all there today and it was a very, very busy day in the courtroom for the judge, Judge Michael, uh, who came out well rehearsed after coming out of uh, the chambers with the uh, defense team of Conrad Murray and of course Conrad came out and, and uh, he was looking like he's well rested and doing real well while Mr. Michael Joseph Jackson, his life was taken away. Uh, he was given over eight times the lethal dose of propofol, we all know that. And, and while I'm talking about it, Here's an article here that I just want to share with you. 
And this article is very important because in this article, uh, one of the top FBI agents that worked for the FBI, who was actually one of the lead head of the FBI, Ted Gunderson, made a statement here. I just want to share that statement with you. Forty times the greater, received a deadly dose, 40 times greater than the amount of his personal physician admits giving him. It seems Dr. Murray got caught trying to pull a fast one, retired FBI special agent in charge, Ted Gunderson. Now, it even goes on to say here, uh, it says here, authorities believe the cardiologist may have connected the bottle directly to an IV tube in Jackson's leg without using a pump to regulate the flow. The method creates a huge tear in the rubber stop of drug bottles, experts say. Now Dr. Jeff's smoke screen will be blown away in court by profile expert, says Gunderson. The private eye insists a medical expert can testify how the drug circulated through Jackson's bloodstream and for how long, says Gunderson, the facts are likely going to pound Murray in court. Wow. So uh, Conrad was looking like he was kind of happy, but you could tell deep down inside he's overwhelmed with all the stress of what he has done to the greatest entertainer, the greatest philanthropist, the greatest dancer, the greatest giver, and of course, he was a great father and a great brother, and a great cousin and a great uncle, Mr. Michael Joseph Jackson. What I didn't like about the courthouse today was I didn't like that we didn't start the preliminary hearings. The preliminary hearings should have been started by now. This case has been going on too long. This is a bunch of judicial mumble jumbo. Uh, I don't, I don't like what Mr. and Mrs. Jackson and the family is going through. They lost their son. They lost their brother, Michael Joseph Jackson. We need to get down the business with this case, and it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be manslaughter. It shouldn't be involuntary manslaughter. It should be first-degree murder, not second-degree. It should be first-degree murder because, as you just heard from the statement right here from Ted Gunderson, in this, in this document right here, he was given too much propofol, and it was set up by Dr. Conrad Murray. Now, I'm not saying Conrad is the only one behind this. We had to look at uh, John Branca. We had to look at Tomei Tomei. We had to look at uh, McLean. We had to look at all the players involved in this. We need to look at AEG. We need to look at all these people who are involved in, in, in extorting money from Michael's estate, from Michael Jackson's uh, hard work, and all the people that are on, this, on the wheel and everything. None of their last names are Jackson, not one of them. And you really loved Michael Jackson. There should be no dissemination in the groups. There should be no uh, disregard for respect for other groups. When we all come to the courthouse, we're all on one accord. And that one accord is justice for Michael. We're all fighting for one thing only, and that's justice in the wrongful death of Mr. Michael Joseph Jackson. I want to thank you, Mr. Wagner, for having me on your show. And God bless you. I look forward to being on your show again. Take care. Hi, my name is Carolyn Owens Horton, and you're courting Michael Jackson from the very beginning, really since he was a child, but since all these things have been coming against him. So I'm glad to be there again today, and I was just outside the door, and I was there to support him and to show his family that we're still supporting him. And God bless you, Michael, and uh, I just think it's a shame, and we're going to have to catch this man in Jesus' name. God bless you. Tell me what you saw in one minute or so at the court today. At the court today, I was not inside the courtroom, but I attend all the court hearings of Dr. Conrad Murray. It is our responsibility as citizens to ensure that our public servants, especially those in law, follow legal standard protocol. And the court employees, the district attorney's employees, the investigators are breaching standard legal protocol in several poignant, pertinent uh, means. Such as? They waited seven months to interview the only witnesses who were the the security guards who saw Dr. Conrad Murray leave the premises, drive away, and leave his patient unattended without a heart monitor, without a defibrillator, on several times the known lethal dosage of general anesthetic. That would kill anybody instantly. This is an intentional premeditated murder. It is obvious there is no heart monitor, no defibrillator, and he was at the patient, Michael Jackson, was administered several times the known lethal dosage. All around the world, people know that this was not involuntary manslaughter. It is obviously premeditated murder, and the district attorney uh, charging Conrad Murray with involuntary manslaughter, it's an obvious cover-up. Obviously, Conrad Murray is being protected, and he's not being charged according to the evidence, and the evidence is not even being allowed to be known, and the, the worldwide opinion is that it was an accident, when obviously 
likely was all the evidence shows it was premeditated murder. Well, this is William Wagner in downtown Los Angeles. The day is August 23rd as the trial is stretched, 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 so that witnesses can be lost and they can cover up whatever really, truly happened to Michael Joe Jackson. This is William Wagner on the trail of justice in front of the tree where all the branches of justice and liberty have been hacked off.